Hello everyone, my name is Rumat and today we're going to do a game of League of Legends in Diamond 1 at around 30 LP or something like that, I don't know. Uh, against the Cassiopeia, recently buffed Cassiopeia on mid lane, against uh, Darius on top lane of Elko's bot. And I'm thinking right now, hmm, do I really want, do I really want corrupting or it's a difficult one? Yeah, mm, uh, I'll get uh, refillable if it's needed. Uh, I want, I'm playing with Electrocute by the way, I am uh, having tastes of Blood Eyeball Collection, Revenous Hunter, Biscuit and Time Warp Tonic and I want to actually fight her level 3, so that's what I was going to say right before I started saying this. And they are really unordered, I'll order them in a bit. I'll just position myself here, oh, okay, what's this two swapped. So we're having two masters this game, one of the master players is... Uh, okay, that triggered me. One of the master players in our team is Draven, their master player is Darius. And Darius is quite experienced, having a lot of games and such. Uh, yes, I've checked to see if I explain it right. Now, we're against Cassiopeia on mid, we want uh, this item, no, not this one. Ludens, we want Ludens, we want Rabadons, Sork Shoes, things like that. Uh, probably Comet would have been useful as well because of the sturdiness, maybe. Cassiopeia. I mean she just she's able to poke me from anywhere compared to my poke potential she has more power and also I need to be careful to gank especially post level 6 I got that and she plays with face rush I think she will lose ah, she will lose a single CS there that's annoying Maybe we make her Lucius now, because it's quite hard to farm under turret. Maybe, yeah, one CS. Nah, she's one CS ahead. Although I'm very susceptible to ganks. I'll keep playing aggressive, because Kindred actually takes Kindred actually takes blue from that, so yeah, we also can expect a Sejuani gank here, but I think, yeah, she has no blue, she has no blue, okay. successfully defended that but I think at the cost of a recall flash and things like that so I think I need this it was a worth decision though because Kindred had free mark here and now I think her jungle is safe so she can get huge advantage. I lost all the pressure from mid. I lost all the pressure. Okay, free kill lol. That's that was a free kill. Uh, but yeah, she she flashed so it's fine. I think Kindred flashed on the other lane. I'm 15 CS behind, I'm very behind, but we're interested in getting the Kindred advantage. And her scaling is much, much better than you know, most, most people in their team, so I just don't want to lose cannon. The rest I can be careful with, but the cannon, it's a different scenario. Okay, hit 
these two. Um, okay, I almost missed both and almost lost <laughs> so much pressure there. I think I need to recall again. But normally I should gather gold for the tome, for the amplifying tome. And Cassiopeia has to teleport. But yeah, I really hope it was worth that I defended uh, this base, this jungle. Maybe it's not, can't really say for sure, but what we're interested in really is, is getting advantage on Kindred because she's the one scaling, not me. But yeah, another thing that's interesting is that if I hit W there, uh, I think I could have could have got something. Maybe kill, maybe kill on that Sejuani, but I cannot say for sure. Still 15 CS behind, but I'll let her slowly push because I need my tome, which is. Here, I need to get this so I have to focus. Okay. I'll just slowly farm. No rush. No pressure. She used ult. So that is that. No, oh, I shouldn't get that. I mean, Cassiopeia can teleport here, but she won't, and not because we can instantly, can instantly get her. That's fine. Flash removed. Now I can kill her next time. I really hope she doesn't interrupt my thing here. The problem is that I still don't have gold for that, so I'm gonna go this and then mid. And if I'm level 7 and she's level 7, I can have some sort of hope. What? Okay, she's seen it. But we need to get a kill on Draven. That's extremely important. Oh, that was a perfect. That was a perfect. Uh, Jesus. Okay. I got so tilted. I played so bad. Okay. Don't think Lulu can help him with anything. I cannot beat her. She's countering me pretty hard, so I'll have to. What is Lulu doing? <laughs> okay. Okay. And she did not get caught don't give gold she has 400 uh, that now we have to see how we can play from behind I played extremely bad because I'm really not used to to, uh, to that champion really I think I played once or twice against her in the past year maybe but now I expect her more so I have to play around and play accordingly yeah dying to her not a solution but there might be
I'm tilted because I knew I could help there. Oh my god. Can we kill? Thank you. Well, something. We got something out of that. Not exactly what was initially planned, but something. I would tell Lulu to go for Magi at this point, but against that lane... I don't know if it's recommended. I mean, it's kinda annoying to play into that. Malphite has no chance and should have no chance. Ah, okay, we won. When you have a Kindred, you have to play with her towards... maybe... getting her marks. I mean, surely not, maybe. Okay. Yeah, but probably Cassiopeia is doing them. Probably she did them. Certainly worth it. Okay, that was perfect. That ult was brilliant. This may be a very bad idea. Ooh, we're so sneaky. <laughs> that was very risky, but again, we get marks for Kindred, which is extremely well. She has three marks. Could have been more. But they are extremely useful, remember. Remember what those marks do, they increase the damage. Uh, I don't really remember how, but they increase a lot of damage. <laughs> so your, your kindred uh, science is not on point, Druma, to do that. Fix your problem with your science. And I'm having a bit of longer again. And we want to... Oops. Problem is that <laughs> if Sejuani does a good gank and does not get caught randomly. Okay. That's an annoying machine, but at least, as you can see, I have an idea to play around it now. And something is happening on both lane. Never mind. Never mind. I, I thought she was going to roll. But it seems that she did not roll. Okay, one more. Nice. I don't know where I don't know where Sergio is. But she gotta be somewhere. Ah, I know where Sergio is. <laughs> she's uh, she's waiting to ult me probably right now. Somewhere either here or here. That's why I don't. Oh, never mind. No, back off! You just seen her, Jesus. Why? How could you die like that? Now if I'd have to guess, never mind. Yeah, never mind. No guess. We're doing fine. Thirty six difference though. But I think Seju got, which is still fine. Someone is typing a lot, and I dislike that. And pro tip: do not try to f get a full combo. On a Cassiopeia because it's next to impossible. Especially with her ridiculous movement speed. And I'm moving this. 
this way. I have alt if I see Cassiopeia. I have everything actually. I just probably killed myself here. Never mind. I did a great play there. <laughs> I did an awesome play there. <laughs> I don't know if I would have died, I don't know what damage of support will cause. I'm very scared when I hear that laser, so I just flashed. And I'm taking this, I have a lot of gold. Okay, back off. Because if you die here, we are losing. Now, here is a good moment to use a biscuit. Because we want to get this, we want to get the buff. And as you see, even though... I don't know, I don't know, I failed early. I'm still quite ahead in assists in everything, because... I played around Kindred and Kindred is very far ahead right now. I really don't want her to get smited though. Okay, so how many marks? Seven marks? Enhancing their basic abilities. That probably is a factor, I don't know. <laughs> Kindred mains help me. I don't know what her passive does. I have to read it up. Okay, so we get this and we cannot get boots yet. I don't want to get boots and nothing else. But it's fine. We're we're on the path to win this as they got a minor objective like this and nothing else. So we practically have our having perfect objectives and besides the Herald, but Herald didn't give them only a few plates. I really hate the delay on that Q. Sometimes there is a small delay and I lose seals for no reason. And we're going to this venturing into the unknown. Okay, I'm still Still not having any problems going this far. God damn it! Should have got that. Ooh, is that the modified teleport? Okay, I can ult. There's no point to ult here. And there's a Vancos somewhere. The Velcos. That's a lot of poke. And that missed everyone. We have no Malphite also, so I suggest to back off, but I know for sure that this is not worth it only there, else they wouldn't work that. And Fed Lulu comes to the rescue. Can we not go this aggressive, please? There's still no words here, right? I'm so scared to actually cast an out here. I don't have much to follow. Ah, oh, come on! Fun champ. <laughs> Get 
get a full combo on her, get everything right, and somehow still lose because there's a shield, a huge shield that saves her. Even with Ignite, full combo, full electrocute. Same level, Jesus. What's that? And even if I dodge the stun, I would have still lost because I cannot pop that shield. That's so tilting. That's a big shield to burst through. I'm, I'm very tilted right now. Very, very tilted. And Lolo is very, very fat. I mean, I get one opportunity to kill her. And that happens, I'm tilted. So tilted. But yeah, those are my only two deaths, so I suppose. I suppose it's not that bad. Okay, fair enough. Got a flash out. Oh, they certainly know we're doing better. Did it clear? No. Yeah, no flash on bell calls. Okay, I'm seeing it. Potential play there. That's a very bad potential play, should have gone faster. I'm scared to go directly, should go around it. Because there might be a Cassiopeia. Yeah, there's no blue buff. Okay, push it real quick. Probably lose a CS in the process. Backing off, going uh, to cover for Baron. Why aren't we doing it though? Okay, found the vision, found the word. Why aren't we doing it though? It's free. If anyone comes, we just turn it around. Well, that was all the cover that I needed, that I was doing, actually. Uh, turns out playing around your jungler is better than... Oh, actually. Yes, that's a good, but I need to recall. Still need to recall. Still not all for it, because I'm an idiot. Actually thought it's 2100, not 300, but yeah, I can still buy it, I'm idiot. I cannot still buy it, never mind. Never mind, Matt is strong, sorry. So, play around your kindred early, even though you lose CS, what am I watching? That's some man loading, that's clear, this guy is not getting damaged. Jesus, is this a penta? We're going for the penta. I don't even... I don't want to steal his kill, I, I want... <laughs> Damn it. I really wanted the penta there for him. I didn't cast spells for him to get the quadra. I can't finish, I think. Legit didn't cast any spells there and even flashed for him. Ah, damn you, speed. Okay, maybe take some wolves here. Wolves. Okay, Draven things out. Never mind. Wanted to push towards him, but apparently nah. 
I played horrendous after that though. I died two times which were pointless. You see you see the irony. I died two times in a game and I think I play horrendous because of that. But yeah, the truth is when I get outplayed like that, as I died to Cassiopeia, is this horrendous play. And it's bad, it's bad gameplay. I think he got hit first, then the shield came. Okay, so many heals and shields on that Raven. Close fall Tang Malf, I mean. Just press the button. See why you give kills to Kindred. Got the kill too, I have positive KD. So we can end the game right here. So yeah, that's a good example of how to play around your Kindred. Look at her score, early playing around that, 9-1 KD, 9-1-8 actually. So even though I played like crap on mid lane, I did lose event advantage early and gained advantage by her playstyle. And that was pretty good. I mean, she's an OTP, she has a lot of games. It's a good thing to play around it if you can. I actually recommend this strategy if you play around it and like that. And it could, it could be a good strategy. So that's about it for now. Really hope this video was informative and gave you some insights on what to do in this specific matchup and in, well, what not to do. That's a good example of how to play bad against Cassiopeia. So yeah, this is for now, I really hope you enjoyed and see you next time guys, goodbye.